Hello, I greet all of you who are listening to me now. Um, I have come again to continue with our discussion. Uh, a few days ago, I brought you a message regarding the forthcoming um, public hearing. And uh, I would like to tell you that the public hearing has come and gone. Um, and we were duly represented. The Biafrans were duly represented. Um, we were able to present the Biafran case in all the geopolitical zones in the southeast, south, south, southwest, north central, that's middle bed, then northwest and northeast. We were able to present the Biafran position, Biafran memorandum, Biafran case before the National Assembly. Uh, at Enugu, we were represented by uh, Comrade Zulu of Fuelue. Uh, south, south was by Barrister Martin Sachonye. Uh, southwest of Barrister Captain. Or Kasmia Wafo, not Central Bastor uh, uh, Charles Durson, then Northwest of Barista Chimeze Jonah, then Northeast is Comrade Namde Okonye. We were, were able to cover the whole Nigeria and we presented the Biafran case. Presentation of Zulu of Fuele at Enugu. You will see that his presentation captured the attention of everybody. In fact, the Biafran memorandum was the was the talk of the town. Every person loved it because we are saying that we are Biafrans. In fact, Zulu Fuele clearly told them that he is a Biafran activist. His announcement, he said, I represent movement of Biafrans in Nigeria under the customary government. We are those who took Nigeria to court. We are with Nigeria in court over the issue of self-determination. And it is our position that except Nigeria is restructured to regional autonomy, Nigeria shall not survive as a country. That it's only regional autonomy that can make, help Nigeria to survive. So that every region will have its own autonomy, govern itself, and develop at its own pace. That is the only solution that can save Nigeria from collapse. And uh, the, he was there talking about it. The senators were there. House of Rep members were there, the governors were there. You, you can imagine, but nobody arrested him. You know that the Senate has power to order for his arrest as a Biafran activist, but nobody arrested him. That is what I have been telling you, that we operate with the legal methodology, and that gives us what is called judicial immunity. We are with Nigerian government in court, and because we are in court with Nigeria, Nigeria has no right to arrest us. You cannot arrest a plaintiff. A defendant cannot arrest a plaintiff who is with him in court until that case is over. So we are enjoying judicial immunity until this case is over. We have the right to gather. We have the right to gather ourselves as Biafrans. We have the right to discuss as Biafrans. We have the right to meet and, and strategize and push this case. We have the right to meet with Nigerian authorities face to face. I told you that for any people to gain independence, you must meet the odd opponent face to face. It's either you meet the opponent in battlefield of war or you meet the opponent in the court and argue your case in court or you meet the opponent in the parliament and debate your opposition, your position, your case in the parliament. So you must meet the opponent face to face. Yes, you can run around the street, make noise, make protests, but that's not enough. You must meet the opponent face to face. Look at the Bible. When uh, God sent Moses to go and deliver Israelites, he said, go to Pharaoh face to face, go to Pharaoh face to face and say, let my people go. Pharaoh represented the sovereignty, the sovereignty of Egypt. So go to the sovereignty, the sovereign uh, entity, go and speak. You must meet the sovereign governments face to face. So we have engaged Nigeria face to face. In court, we have engaged Nigeria face to face. In the parliament, we have engaged Nigeria face to face. We don't want the other aspect that is using war, battlefield. Because we have tried it before and we, we did not succeed before. I'm not saying that war is not an option. If the Fulanese or the Muslims who say they want to bring war into Nigeria bring war, well, if they bring war, whatever they see, they will take because the whole Nigeria, all the Nigerians will fight against these uh, Fulani people, six percent of them, six percent of Nigerian population trying to lord over Nigeria. All other ethnic nationalities will rise up and fight against Fulani people if they try war again. They let them not think that uh, 
the people of uh, Benue State, Middle Bed, South South, or South West will join them as they joined before uh, to defeat Biafra. Times have changed. So if they are banking on using those people to fight against Biafra, <laughs> let them have a rethink. So what we are talking now is devolution of power to the regions. Let there be regional government. Already the regions have been created. We have six regions now. All we are saying is that the, House, the National Assembly should now pass the bill into law, granting autonomy, autonomous status to the regions. And that's all. And it's over. Already the regions have been created. So all we need now is a law. Pass that law now, granting autonomy to the regions. And every person will be happy. Thank you very much for listening to me. I'll come again next time. God bless you as you enjoy this message. Please share this message to other people because we need to know the truth and so that we shall be saved by the truth. Goodbye for now.